Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee Brenda's Cradle. I am home today because I have no ride to get to work, which is sad. Um, but today I have decided to do Wishes and Wonders tag. So stay along. <laughs> so I am doing laundry too in the background if you hear that spinning is from the washing um I do have the tag questions here is under Mia's video and um I will put it down into the description for sure and um how many questions I didn't even look at them pop oh okay there are 10 questions okay and in the meantime, I thought that I would change Clara Rose, and she is so beautiful. Um, I do have a new diaper for her, and I have a, a Wonder Wafer that I'd love to put in her. But um, she's here with her stuffy. And also, Clara Rose came with a bracelet that I made her a few years ago. Over a year, over a year for sure. But... Um, it's so pretty. I'm so happy to have it back. <laughs> she is so sweet. So this is the bracelet that I made Julie for Clara Rose back when we first met. And we agreed to do swap Happy Mail. So she sent me stuff and I sent her stuff. And uh, I made this for her. And I knew that this pink, if you could... That pink is her favorite color, Julie's favorite color, along with mine. So I'm so happy that this is with the beautiful Clara Rose. This will be her forever bracelet. So um, I do want to change her in this outfit. In the meantime, while I answer the questions, this came with her. It's a one sleeve cream colored onesie there is just plain um and it came with these light gray pants with hearts all over it uh, different colors pastel hearts there's blue rose gray and a light blue and a light pink and it came with this beautiful vest it's more like a, a i don't know what color is this a teal See you guys, I taught kindergarten most of my career, so <laughs> I just know the basic colors. I would call this a very light pastel blue, and it has three hearts on the crest. They're embroidered, and there's a, a rose, a dark rose. It looks like black, but is a brown, like a dark chocolate brown, and then a light pink. And there's, it's zippered. <laughs> that was a sad. Now I have, I would love to put her in another hat, a winter hat. As you can see, I'm wearing my uh, long sleeve. I will check the temperature. I'm just walking over to our thing, our temperature thing. It is in the morning right now. We are at minus two degrees celsius is 20 in the house so in the house is nice let's see oops where's the fahrenheit oh so it's 28 degrees fahrenheit outside and 69 in the house so let's see the lowest the lowest or the highest was 39 celsius outside 34 in the house Oh, I'm not going. The highest we've had was 102 Fahrenheit outside, 94 in the house. The lowest was not minus 40 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit outside, and 52 in the house was the coldest. And yeah, it's also negative 40 outside Celsius. 
and an eleven in the house. Ooh, I needed the heat on for sure <laughs> for that. So it is definitely fall here for sure. And I have these these booties. They're not the green color, they're the light pink color, but they will match. So maybe if I could find like a light pink hat to go with her, that would be perfect. I have my laptop here in the background. You can't see it, but it's just right beside me with Mia's questions. So, oh, and I, like I said, this is a big size three. So I hope it fits her. So number one, how do you prepare for letting go of a doll? And by the way, before I start, Mia, thank you so much for creating this fun tag. Um, I love participating in tags. And I used to make a few up myself, but that was many years ago. Let's see. Move this. And her beautiful baldness you know my cousin Brittany was bald for she was like a toddler when she finally got hair so set these beautiful pieces aside so number one how do you prepare for letting go of a doll well I'll tell you this I don't let go of dolls very often oh there is a wonder wafer um I have a new one to replace. Um, I did recently let go of a doll. I gifted a doll to a very extremely kind and caring person, a friend. Um, she is one of the warmest people I know. So anyways... Um, I remember, okay, I participate in a live, um, the live is not Reborn related, but there are Reborn people in there, and when I participate, they have a live every Sunday, and it's Jessica, hi Jessica, if you're watching, Jessica and her husband, Arby, and... We always have the same few people, and every single one of those people that attend her lives are wonderful. They're beautiful people, they're caring, they're thoughtful, but especially Brie. Brie, um, along, I don't want to cry because she is such a. <laughs> Anyways, see how sensitive I am? <laughs> Brie is such an amazing beautiful soul and I she is when I first started attending these lives like over a year ago I think I'm not sure how long ago a long time ago she was always there and everyone knew that came into the chat she would be right there welcoming them um anyway Anyways, anyways, long time ago, she mentioned that she would have a dream of having a twin A. And I have two of them. And they're both made by Wendy. We have baby dolls. Which, Wendy is another amazing, amazing person. And she knows Brie. So, I did ask Wendy... Like, my thoughts, I was telling her that I want to give Brie one of my twin A's. And, of course, Wendy said, wow, that's so nice of you. But you know what, though? It took me a long time to tell Brie what I was thinking. Um, because I thought about it, but I love my dolls a lot, you guys. My collection is huge, and I do love all of them. They all mean something extremely special to me. <laughs> this diaper looks kind of big. 
So, oh, excuse me. I'm almost getting warm in this sweater. Um, took me many months to convince myself that yes, Bree deserves this doll. I would love because, well, for one, I need to downsize, which is a funny joke. <laughs> Me downsize? What? <laughs> but um, she always wanted a dream. And you know what? So many of my dreams have come true. So I would love to share my dream. Like, I would love to share my... How should I say this? I get many of my dreams come true um so i want to make someone's dream come true so i did secretly think about it a few times and was i able to let my twin a go um i don't know but brie deserves it so but still i had to convince myself and then one day we were talking and the subject came up again of the twin a and Brie was like, oh, I wish I could have one. That's my dream. So just something in me thought, I'm going to grant her her wish right now. So I told her. But back then, I also, I didn't have a lot of money. So I had to save up for shipping. Because shipping from here to where she lives is very expensive. So, but I really want to do this for her. So what I did to prepare myself to send Wendy, well, that, sorry, that was the name I've named my twin A. Um, I just took care of her and I love her, but when I look at her, I think I, it's so hard to describe. Like, I knew this is Julie's baby. And Julie gifted it to me at the bottom of her heart. But she is mine now. Clara Rose belongs to me. But she has a bit of Julie in her. And that's what I feel about my twin A to Brie. When he created the twin A for me. So is part of Wendy. I mean I named the doll Wendy. And then... But then I start thinking about Bree. This is Bree's new baby. So the doll is just here in my position for now, but she doesn't belong to me anymore. She belongs to Bree. So um So yeah, I just I guess I just think about it. And of course I still take care of her and make sure that she's well presented and well preserved. I uh Give her, like, do her hair nice, um, put on nice clothing, and I do a nice box opening, or try to do a nice box opening. I hope that Brie likes it. And then I just ship her off. Um, I'm not sad when I send the doll away. It's just my mindset is different. But then again, like I said... I don't downsize a lot. I have traded a few babies. I have sold a few babies. And I regretted the decision. So I bought a couple of dolls back. And I even, and one I couldn't buy back. So I had to get the same artist to do the same sculpt for me. So I don't let go of dolls very often. But in this case, for Brie, I just, I think of the doll as hers. With a part of me and a part of Wendy. And I hope that Brie really loves the doll. She will. So, I'm trying to get the zipper on. Oh, so look at all this time. And I never even answered <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Number two, have you ever not liked the baby when you did the box opening but grew to love it afterwards? No, I loved all the dolls. They all have something special. 
And besides, before I buy a doll, I try and get as much information as I can about that doll. I know about the boo-boos. Um, if there was a boo-boo on the doll, like a little mark or something that was not disclosed, I'm not, I'm not disappointed. I mean, all babies aren't perfect. I don't know. I'm more accepting. So, no, I, I loved all the dolls that I've purchased and received. Number three, my baby clothes drawers are, pick one, A, in good shape. B, so-so. C, a hot mess. Send help. <laughs> well, I don't have drawers. Well, I guess I have drawers for the bins. Um, at this moment, they are B, so-so. Only because I redid the room recently, so of course I was in there organizing. But for the most part, they are C, a hot mess. But don't send help. I don't need help. I like it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, maybe to someone else are a hot mess, but to me, I know where everything is. <laughs> I guess they're so-so, I guess. Um, I do have a couple of drawers that are in really good shape, like my newborn girls, because I don't have a lot of newborn girls. But my zero to three girls and my zero to three boys, yeah, they're a hot mess. Okay, I'll put... Okay, the next question, number four. Your friend is planning to buy a new doll that you know is a stolen sculpt. Do you approve, warn her, or disapprove? And if so, tell her how you feel. Um, <laughs> most of my friends already have been in the hobby for years, so <laughs> they wouldn't even buy a stolen sculpt doll. But let's just pretend that I have a friend, um, I will, well, it's so cute, it's, that's a hard, that's a hard one, um, I, I am the type of person that if you love a doll, no matter what kind of doll, then you go for it, however, if it's a stolen sculpt, which I don't approve of, um, I would let them know I would warn her, but it's still her choice if she decides to buy it or not. And honestly and truly, all my friends will not buy a stolen sculpt. They're pretty much against it. But let's pretend if I if I had a friend, um I would I would just warn her and let her decide. So if if she wouldn't be my friend or just kidding. <laughs> but I was going to say she wouldn't be my friend if she supported by some scouts, but I can't really say that. So, but, ah, she's so cute. I do have some hats for her. I have a bin of hats. So, let's set her up. And I know you can just see her feet, but I want to pick out a hat with you all. So here's my bin of winter hats. Girl, well, okay, what's the next question? Number five is another box opening video. You pick one. A, fast forward to the baby reveal, B, savior, all the lead up stuff and wait to see the doll, or C, fast forward to the baby, then backtrack. If it's not a friend of mine, like say if I'm just looking up a certain sculpt just to see, um, wait, I want to, want to match up these boots. These can match. We'll try that. Um. I would, if it's a friend of mine, I would watch every moment and savor the joy. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, but if it's just a random video that I'm trying to look up on a certain sculpt, I will fast forward it. Okay, 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I don't know. Um, next question. Number six. Be honest. What makes you unsubscribe from a channel? There are a few things I've unsubscribed. Um, one, if they're like if they're rude, if they if basically, but the that's the thing though, rude to me what is rude to them it might not be rude in their eyes but to me it might be so if you're not on my same personality page and i just can't stand what you're saying all the time i will unsubscribe from you um or if you yeah just basically if you're not on my wavelength of a personality then i will unsubscribe if you're doing content like say if i don't know you very well and you're not doing content that i find interesting i will unsubscribe from you but basically i still have like over 500 people in my subscriptions however i did put my subscription list to private because that's what i learned over the years I also I also don't appreciate being approached with the question of oh you're subscribed to so and so why I'm not your friend no more <laughs> I'm dead with that so I do have a lot of um I haven't unsubscribed from a lot of people I have unsubscribed from people but it's for all the same reasons because our personalities don't match and our perspectives are different that's all and i don't want to hear you babble on about things that i don't agree with that's all so let's put this beauty back on oh i see if, oh she's so cute i don't know she has no weight in her head i might might add just a little bit of weight to the back like back here because i like it when i lift a doll that their head goes like that but otherwise she's weighted like perfectly but if i do want her sitting up oh my laptop okay number seven would you say you interact in some way with the doll adults in your collection at least once a day oh definitely <laughs> i have a car seat where i have a doll displayed it's a different doll every once in a while for now clara rose is in the car seat and yes i interact with them every day now it might not be about picking them up oh yes how cute oh she's perfect okay i'll be back like this is clara rose's spot for the week i have this car seat in the living room all the time these are just the other clothes that clara rose came with i will put them into a baggie this is clara rose them together but she is in the star of the car seat we'll find a hat for her. There are just switch your angles. Um, so yes, I do interact in some way with the doll or dolls in my collection at least once a day. Even if I don't pick them up, I will glance at them and <laughs> normally I always go, you're so cute, and then I'll walk away. <laughs> but um, I also have dolls displayed in my bedroom and I see them every day. So let's try on a hat this one this one well i feel like i'm out of breath on this one maybe not so much this one so this one <laughs> let's see can you see here oh this one or it's a little big Uh, I think I like this one. It matches 
her booty is pretty well and it matches this heart that she has. Yay! So there's Clara Rose. I'm almost done with the questions. Let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number eight. You find a $20 in the pocket of your pants. You pick one. A, put it towards this week's grocery bill. B. Hi. Hi, Brenda. So anything there? I was on number eight. Is Claire Rose? <laughs> okay. Number eight. You find the 20 in the pocket of your pants. You pick one. Okay, I'm reading off my laptop. Here's Claire Rose. Um, put it towards this week's grocery bill. Donate it to your favorite charity. Rush out to buy more baby clothes or realize these aren't your pants. That happened to me before. I did find $20. I actually found $50. I put it towards the grocery bill. I'm like, yay, we can buy a wonderful cut of meat and have fresh vegetables and um, have a really good meal. So uh, we cook our own meals so we don't go out to restaurants. I'm from a small town, so I can't even buy baby clothes around here. So, And if I do, uh <laughs> And it's just the name Clara Rose. Yeah, no, I would put it towards the grocery bills. The groceries where I live are very expensive. So I live in northern Canada. So, um, almost done. Number nine, do you cover your dolls with a blanket when it's chilly outside so they won't be cold? I do. I do. In fact, I'm looking at Xena. And I think she looks cold, so yes, I will put a blanket on them or warmer clothing. I do. <laughs> well, she's cold, I always think. Um, number 10, do you foresee being in this hobby five years from now? I do. This is the best hobby I've ever had, like since I was a kid. I love this hobby so much so much it saved my life literally so it's such a calming and rewarding hobby um special tips don't think about how much this hobby is because <laughs> that will stress you out don't think about the cost if it's not affecting your bills go for Oh, she's looking at me. So, you guys hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, I ramble on and on, but it was a fun tag. I should have just answered the questions, um, or maybe even think about the answers before. Oh well, it's done. It's done. I hope that you have a great day. Thank you so much for being here and comment down below. I do answer you. Thank you for all the people who have been commenting before. I really love the interaction that's part of the fun of this hobby. So I love you guys. Take care. Have a great day and until next time. Bye guys.